The new game mode is a punch to the face. The new game mode is a punch to the face. Only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? Well, let's punch you in the face right now. <laughs> we got a little bit of an announcement regarding this new activity that is coming sometime to Hero Wars Facebook and Web. It says, hey everyone, we're here to share more details about the upcoming cross-server guild game mode. First of all, this is Clash of Worlds. Very unique name. There are no games in the, uh, in the Google Play Store or the iOS App Store that have anything to do with clashes. So we're safe there, off to a great start. Silver and Gold Leagues are eligible for participation. This is both a good thing and a bad thing, right? Opening up to Silver and Gold Leagues allows more players on every server to have access to these rewards, whatever they might be, to the higher level of competition, to look at strategies outside of their boring server niche meta strategies, right? And uh, really enjoy things. But in a way, I think that it kind of devalues the Gold League a little bit, right? The main thing that you get for being in the Gold League on Hero Wars Facebook and Web, uh, of course, leveling up your totems, which you can just level up with Emerald. So that's uh, it's okay, but it's not great. You have the, the, um, the champion skins, and I think that's really it, right? That's really the big differences between Gold and Silver League. Uh, as far as Guild Wars is concerned. The 30 Guild members that can participate, I think this is going to cause problems. You know, this is probably the first thing I think that's gonna cause problems. But at the same time, we thought that the Asgard system was gonna cause problems. Also, because the Guild Raid Phase 1 is additive based on your entire Guild's participation in fighting the minions, you know, if you have less people that aren't active, if you have people that are just hanging around and barely doing the, you know, the bare minimum, you're severely hurting your guild overall. So I can start to see maybe some, you know, some less consistent players being kicked out, uh, you know, from Asgard. And then again, because of this, because all 30 guild members can fight in the Clash of Worlds. Each of them will build, I'm sorry, will bring their guild closer to victory to participate. Each player will need three hero teams and two Titan teams. Now what is not listed here, what is specifically not listed here, and we don't know for sure, but it is something to think about. Are you allowed to have the same three hero teams? Probably not. You probably need 15 heroes for three full teams. You could potentially do, you know, three teams of four or whatever. Like you don't need to have all 15 heroes leveled up. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. There are some really awesome single hero, double hero lineups out there like um, the uh, the Isaac Dorian lineup that can kill all twins lineups, the Leon Dorian lineup that can kill you know certain other lineups that you know we can talk about in another video, and then the two Titan teams. Does this mean that you need to level up ten Titans, or can you use two teams of Titans that kind of overlap? Like I'm not sure what's going to go what is going to go on there, but this is going to be one of those uh, one of those steps in the direction to requiring you to have more heroes leveled up, which I'm not a huge fan of, but. There are multiple activities in Hero Wars Facebook and Web that require a large amount of heroes leveled up. And you could argue that having two solid teams, a Kark team and a Zhu team, for example, for my purposes, my main team, my main team is a Kark team, right? And my LOL Osh team, the meta guild raid team, is a Zhu team. Now there's a lot of overlap. I use Martha on both, I use Nebula on both, I use Sebastian on both, I do use Isaac on both. So there are three to four heroes on that LOL Osh team that are kind of overlapping there. So I would need to build a couple more heroes to work with Zhu, and then maybe, you know, three to four more support heroes to add in there. And boom, I have 15 heroes leveled up. You need you need 25 heroes leveled up to, you know, to be competitive in the guild raid system anyway. You need 15 heroes to be uh, competitive in Grand Arena, which I don't like at all. But I can see that this is going to be, this is definitely gonna be an issue for newer players definitely newer servers. Fortunately, there is some kind of matchmaking guild ranking, which we'll talk about here in a little bit, that's gonna prevent, at least later on, in the very beginning, there's gonna be a lot of really one-sided fights. And uh, once the first week or two or three or, or four gets behind us, then you're not gonna see, you're gonna see silver leagues of the same power level on really old, I'm sorry, on really new servers fighting against silver league guilds on really new servers. So you're gonna not see so many terrible one-sided fights anymore. Gives those 
newer servers an opportunity to, to earn some of the rewards, whatever they may be. Each battle in the game mode lasts two days, with a total of three battles per week. They begin on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, with Sundays off. The Clash of Worlds will have seasons, each lasting three months. Okay, so... At the beginning of the season, you start and then you compete three times a week across three months. That's 36 total battles. By participating in battles, guilds will climb the Clash of Worlds ranking to see which guild is the most powerful across all servers. A higher guild ranking means stronger opponents and more valuable rewards. Okay, so there's gonna be some kind of matchmaking. You're gonna be matched up with people of equal or similar power level. So you're not just, like I said, you're not just getting completely annihilated by a, a server one guild or uh, you're not, you know, destroying a server 500 guild, right? Or whatever. Uh, let's see, when a guild unlocks the Clash of Worlds, uh, it will receive the starting ranking calculated via the total power of the 15 strongest heroes and 10 strongest titans of each guild member, so it can participate right away rather than wait for the season to end. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. You can join in in the middle of it, right? You don't have to wait until the end. I think that's pretty cool. The guild ranking will reset at season start. The ranking reached in the previous season affects the starting ranking of the new season. The higher the guild's ranking for the previous season, the higher its starting position in the new season. Now that's where it kind of gets confusing there at the end. Okay, that's where it kind of gets confusing at the end. So here is a screenshot of the the guild rankings, or, or at least one of the concept arts of the guild rankings on Hero Wars Mobile. All right, this is Hero Wars Mobile, guys. This is a mobile screenshot, all right? I'm speculating on what the Facebook and web stuff will look like based on this screenshot. So you have eight, I'm sorry, you have six, I cannot count. You have six divisions, right? Or leagues, I'm sorry, six leagues. Gray, green, blue, violet, orange, red. Does that sound familiar, guys? Gray, green, blue, violet, orange, red. Sounds familiar to me. Sounds real familiar to me. Everybody's gonna start off in the League of Barons. As you compete and earn rating for winning or losing or tying or whatever, you will progress into the League of Viscounts, into the League of Earls, into the League of Marquis, into the League of Dukes, and then finally into the League of Kings. Now, the way that Hero Wars Mobile is broken down is every league is differentiated by a range of numbers. So for example, League of Barons, and we're gonna use very basic numbers that is, is completely ambiguous and doesn't apply to the, to the Clash of Worlds because we don't know what they are. So hypothetically, hypothetically, League of Barons is from zero ranking to 100 ranking, okay? Zero to 100. As you fight your battles three times a week, you know, 12 times a month, 36 times in a season as you win you will rank up your guild okay once you get to rank 101 as far as rating or points or whatever they're going to call it that's when you jump into the league of viscounts 101 to 200 and then you win you win you win you win you win you get to 201 to 300 your league of earls and this is again this is ambiguous names don't pay attention to these names this is not finalized for facebook and web all the way up until the league of dukes now there can be an infinite number of guilds in each league, an infinite number, all right? There can be a million guilds in the League of Viscounts, in the League of Earls, the League of Marquis, and the League of Dukes. Every single guild in the game could be in the same league, okay? But the top 20, the top 20 moves to the League of Kings, okay? Again, this is how Hero Wars Mobile works. So the top of the top, a set quantity is in the League of Kings. I think it's called the, I'm actually not sure what it's called. I have to check again, I can't remember. The, um, the, 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 red, the red league here has a set number. So the top, top, top mobile guilds in the world are in that league, okay? And then everybody else is in all of the rest of the leagues based on their individual guild ranking. Royal League, that's right, it is Royal League. Thank you, Jeff, thank you. It's Royal League. And then there's, you know, there's qualification battles for the highest ranking League of Dukes and the lowest ranking League of Kings, very similar to how Guild Wars is right now. If you're in the bottom of the gold and you're in the top of the silver, you fight the bottom gold league to try to get into the gold league, right? Boom, very, very, very simple, very straightforward. The season lasts three months, all right? So you fight your way, you fight your way, you fight your way. Maybe your guild makes it to the League of Marquis, Marquises, <laughs> League of Marquises, and then according to this document, the ranking reached in the previous season affects the starting ranking of the new season, 
all right so what i'm guessing is if you make it to the league of marquis and this you know this is 100 200 300 this is like the 400 range then maybe on season two and this is a maybe this is a big maybe guys i don't know anything this is a maybe then maybe on season two you start at 400 points or 401 points or 437 points or 712 points or whatever the ranking is you start there on season two as well as everybody else that made it that far right so you have this huge population of guilds that's starting in the gray division in the beginning and then as the seasons progress each guild is going to start at a higher point so you're not competing against the really weak guilds for the first three weeks does that make sense if my guild is good enough to make it to the league of marquises right because i've rolled every fight i've just completely clapped every guild that i fought all the way up until my guild gets into this violet tier league right here i don't want to have to again next season fight through all of those players again i want to fight people on my competitiveness or at least that's the idea of the uh, uh that's the idea of the uh, of the season here right now again this is a hero wars mobile comparison this is speculation we don't really know exactly how the rankings are going to work yet i would imagine it's going to be very similar I would imagine it's going to be extremely similar because why wouldn't they? They have a proven concept now on Hero Wars Mobile. The global championship has been running for six months now, seven months now. Now, I will tell you this. I will tell you this. The rewards for the guild, uh, for the uh, for the Hero Wars Mobile high-end stuff is cool banners, just cosmetic stuff, okay? Just participating just participating in the global championship you get access to what's called the global championship shop here on hero wars mobile the global championship shop i'm sorry the guild championship shop excuse me has different items for the most part it's all cosmetic stuff but there are a couple of really nice items the xp booster the evolution booster and the skill booster which facebook and web have never had and they may add these but it is a it is a point system very similar to how the uh, the guild war system is right now on all versions of the game you buy stuff with gold trophies you buy stuff with silver trophies you buy stuff with bronze trophies you're going to earn uh clash of worlds trophies which you will then use to purchase the rewards right and then the top tier the top tier guilds will earn cosmetic items to differentiate themselves uh in the day-to-day -day, right in other games I play, the competitive ranking system is similar. However, after the competitive season ends, the following season you start the rank immediately below that. Probably the case. Probably the case. That said, it's quite plausible that the rank you finish the season at will affect it in that, in that sense. Less of a climb. Yeah, the, the whole point is that you don't have to you don't have to do the entire climb every season, right? You start at a higher point depending on how well you did the season before. Now, there's a lot of stuff that's left to be answered here. And the post on Facebook itself said that discuss in the comments what you think and we'll have more to share soon we're going to tell you more about the rewards and answer your questions see you in dominion no names and info presented in this post might become subject to change yeah so they could change stuff at any time we will likely get more information about this about this thing the clash of worlds maybe we get the rewards maybe we get more on the rating system maybe we get more on how the actual fighting works you know do we need 15 heroes do we have to defeat all 15 heroes in one attack? Can multiple hero, I'm sorry, can multiple teams go into the same location? So three strong players, I'm sorry, three players that have one strong team, can they take one installation or is it, you know, do you have to do all or nothing? Like we're not sure about how a lot of that, about how a lot of that stuff works. We will learn as, as we go. How time consuming is it for mobile? Assignment it is the same amount of fights every day as your traditional guild war. So you do your guild war attacks, in a given day right and however much time you need to train for those guild war attacks be it 10 minutes or six hours that is how long you will take in the global championship because you're going to get maybe five fights i don't know two if, if every player needs two titan teams and three hero teams maybe you're gonna get five fights but global championship on hero wars mobile is only two fights per day so you end up doing two guild war fights and two global championship fights every day good question though no info on prizes if there are no 30 members but 28 it will be just free points uh those locations presumably yes will be free points 
Yes. Talking about, Tankoff is discussing about setting up defenses. If you don't have 30 players in your guild, there will be locations that are left undefended because you don't have enough players to fill those. Two Titan teams would make Titan PvP way more interesting. 100% agree. 100% agree. But the people that have two level Titans are suddenly the powerful players, right? Not just the people with one level Titan or totem, right? You would need two level totems. Scott K says on mobile, most of the guilds that fail to make it to qualification fall back to the green league at the start of the next season. Okay. If the hero fights are similar to mobile global championship, then it is similar to grand arena, but you have to win all three fights, not best of three to capture the building. Yes. So as planner is needed. Oh yeah. Yeah. You'll Sir turbo. You'll probably definitely need some planners. Do you think the new Asgard boss might come into this? If your guild has to be there to qualify for the boss, uh, that'd be a cool idea. That'd be a cool idea, Adikonda. That'd be a really cool idea. I don't know though. I don't know. See, yeah, mobile players don't have to be in front of the computer to play. You don't have to be in front of. The, you can open. You can open Hero Wars Facebook on a Chrome app on your phone. I do it all the time. I do it all the time. I play. I play Hero Wars on my phone at my uh, my kids' football practice every day. Every day. <laughs>